Bradley Cooper has had quite a year from Guardians of the Galaxy to portraying the Elephant Man on Broadway to what could be his most powerful role yet. He's portraying war hero Chris Kyle, the most lethal sniper in U.S. history. The Navy SEAL survived four tours in Iraq, only to be tragically killed back home on American soil while trying to help a fellow veteran. And that's the story behind the new Clint Eastwood directed film, American Sniper. Willie caught up with Bradley Cooper and Kyle's widow, Taya, at a special screening of the film at New York's Fort Hamilton military base. It's a heck of a responsibility. We hope we get it right that we could tell a story that shows some truth to what it's like for you guys and what you do. I just want to get the bad guys, but if I can't see them, I can't shoot them. Like all these guys, they know your name. They feel invincible with you up there. They're not. They are if they think they are. So, Bradley, we just screened this movie for a group of active duty servicemen and women and vets, too. You get a big ovation. What does that mean to you? Uh, it, being here actually means everything to me. Uh, when, we, when we were talking about making this movie, Clint and I, we all talked about what it could do and uh, hopefully just tell this man's story. And uh, maybe, you know, if we get it right, uh, there's a chance people who have walked a similar path will feel that there's a connection. And so being able to show it here today uh, was sort of the goal. One of the things this movie captures so well is this juxtaposition of life in theater, life in country, and life back at home. Well, I mean, that's really the thrust of the movie, was to sort of uh, show what that must have done and what that does do to soldiers and to the family at home. We got all that from Taya. I mean, she opened up their lives to us. The kids are dying to see you. It's been nine months. And Sienna Miller did such an incredible job as Taya. We have all their email exchanges for the four tours. She told us all these stories, uh, and mo most of that's in the movie. I'm coming home. You never got a chance to meet Chris Kyle, but you did speak on the phone once. Yeah. Do you remember that conversation? I do, but you know, it's one of those things where I forget. It's like it maybe it, didn't, it never even happened. It's like this apparition. Uh, you know, it was because I, I never thought it would be the last time I talked to yeah. him. It's funny today being here and being back there for some reason. I, didn't, I never knew him, so it's hard to say, but I really miss him today. It's, mm. it's really weird. I just thought it would have been amazing to go to a place like this with him. I was just protecting my guys. They were trying to kill our soldiers and. Uh, I'm willing to meet my creator and answer for every shot that I took. You're happy with the way Bradley captured your husband? Very happy with it. In fact, I'm in awe of it, truly. It's, I don't know how you embody somebody else and then get the nuances and the mannerisms. He did it. It's amazing. It's got to feel good, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, especially because uh, it wasn't an impersonation of him. I tried to capture something about his internal life. OK, thank you. Tay, what's the feeling when you look up on the screen and watch your life? go across in front of you as millions of people around the country get ready to see it and around the world? Uh, you know, it feels like a, a blessing because it's so right, it's so authentic. And it feels good and warm because I feel like I'm seeing Chris again. And then sometimes it feels painful because, you know, I remember those moments. Okay, I need you to be human again. I imagine it's nerve-wracking the moment before you see it for the first time because you know Bradley, you trust Bradley, mm -hmm. but you still don't know how it's going to turn out in the end. Were you relieved when you saw it? Well, you know, it's interesting that you asked that because a couple months before I saw it, I just thought, you know what, there's no need to worry. All these people, you know, Clint, Sienna, and Bradley, everybody put their heart into it. So if there was ever going to be a movie, this is the best it's ever going to be. Bradley, it seems to me you got pretty lucky with this character to have Taya as a resource and somebody who was so willing to open up her life and talk about her husband and guide you through this process. I mean, it wouldn't have happened without her. For me personally, I would never, uh, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, I could gain 35 pounds and sound like I'm from Texas, but that wasn't it. That was just, really, honestly, that was for me, just so I could believe it. But the man, all of that, that all came from her. Well, American Sniper opens in select theaters Christmas Day and nationwide January 16th. We had a chance to see it. It's yeah. a brilliant film. It Powerful is heavy, film. but it is raw. It's so real. It's, it's just, it's amazing. And, and it's, it is the story of Chris Kyle, yeah. but it is much more as well. Mm -hmm. It's the story of a lot of the troops when they come, come back and about that adjustment mm -hmm. they have to make back home.